Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Olivia Bontempo, and you're watching another virtual edition of WCAT's Weekly News. With the final weeks of school approaching, it is now time for the unveiling of the 2020 Lynx yearbook. This year's theme, which is Make a Mark, has been dedicated to Miss Bean and Coach Pullen, who truly have made a mark around the Westminster campus. Here's Miss Nye and your head editors with more on this year's edition. The book was created by our head editors, Caroline Lingle, Mayor Louise Rogers, and Hadley McClatchy, as well as our wonderful and diligent yearbook staff, with the help of my co-advisors, Mrs. Asaki and Mrs. Merchant. We tried to create a book that you will enjoy and look forward to reading. We began planning for this book in March of 2019 and finished the main book right before spring break. Now we are working on the 2020 Link Supplement, covering events from March through May. So if you have some photographs or stories, we would love to receive those. I will let the head editors discuss this year's theme and dedications. Hi, I'm Caroline Lingle, one of this year's head yearbook editors, along with Mary Louise Rogers and Hadley McClatchy and we were asked to share some with y'all about this year's theme and what it meant to us. So basically we started discussing the theme about 14 months ago at a yearbook clinic at Pond City Market, and we all just agreed that we wanted to first avoid the inevitable theme, which was 2020 vision, and second, honor the people around us and the places that we'll remember in the best way we could. So obviously we already knew that we would have some major changes to our senior year, like the construction, but we could have never predicted like what actually ended up happening. So now the theme means even more to us than it did then. Um, with that being said, the theme for this year is make your mark. And we tried to honor those who have left marks on us and the places on campus that meant a lot to us. And we hope that with this year's yearbook, we're able to leave our mark on y'all as the class of 2020. Hopefully this can be a method of giving a proper goodbye since we didn't really get the last couple of months like we expected. But um, hopefully Mary Louise and Hadley can discuss some more with y'all about who we dedicated it to and what it really means to us. I hope y'all enjoy it. Hey everyone, my name is Mary Louise Rogers and I was one of this year's yearbook head editors along with Carolyn Lingle and Hadley McClatchy. Uh, as Carolyn just said, we are so sad that we couldn't present this year's book to all of y'all in person and that we are so excited to announce that this year's theme is Make Your Mark. Uh, we would like to thank everyone who had made, who've made marks on the class of 2020 as a whole. And two of those very special people are Miss Nancy Bean and Mr. Adam Pullen, and that is who this year's 2019-2020 yearbook is dedicated to. Miss Bean's dedication was written by senior Elizabeth Carter. Uh, so just some background information about Miss Bean. Um, she started working at Westminster in 1989, starting as a history teacher, and she then became a college counselor in 1992. Mr. Adam Pullen's uh, dedication was written by senior Wickercroft. Uh, so he began teaching at Westminster not too long ago, uh, in May 2017, when we were freshmen. Um, he is a physics teacher and he coaches football and baseball and he's just made but many impacts on the whole Westminster community, but especially on the class of 2020. We would also like to thank everyone who helped make this book possible, starting with Ms. Nye, uh, the yearbook advisor. This book would definitely not have been finished without you. And we'd also like to thank our other yearbook advisors, Ms. Asaki and Ms. Merchant. Thank y'all for all y'all all do for the book. Uh, like I said, it just, we would not be able to finish it with all y'all. Um, and to the whole yearbook staff, like, and honestly would not have been completed without all of y'all's hard work throughout the whole year. We hope that you guys uh, will love this book as much as we loved making it. Thank you to the yearbook staff and advisors who have made this year's edition possible. With the transition into asynchronous learning, students now have more time on their hands. I recently caught up with some Wildcats to talk to them about what they have been doing to keep busy during quarantine. During quarantine, I've been hanging out with my friends a lot in parking lots, staying six feet apart, and I've also been watching a lot of movies and going on a lot of walks around my neighborhood. During quarantine, I've lately been hanging out with my friends at the park, practicing social distancing, and uh, done some cooking with my parents and my family, and done all the football workouts that Gary Romberg has assigned to us. In this quarantine, I've mostly gone on walks and gone swimming in the pool, and that's pretty much it. During quarantine, uh, I've been out a couple times to uh, play golf with my friends. What I've been doing to keep busy during quarantine, I've been fishing a bunch and fighting a lot in new ponds, and also have done mystery boxes with my family. 
Sounds like everyone has really been keeping themselves busy during these times. One Westminster student in particular has really stood out during our time away from school. Congratulations to Sarah Lau for receiving the 2020 Georgia Poet Laureate's Prize for her poem, Seascape. This is my poem, Seascape. The last scene begins with a close-up of our powdered feet and all the extra film grain stifles the shore. You tell me the reefs won't last, and I pretend to laugh while the tide rolls past our ankles and everything buffers. How sand falls in damp clumps from your heel, your limbs the bladed lurch of a broken windmill. In the sky, gulls crumple to rain with an economy of pleats and the screen floodlights. We try again. Take two. Forget the lines and the water that yearns to fill me as if I were an empty cistern. At midnight, I build myself a body double out of algae, dot its eyes with calories and embed myself beneath the sands. The director tells me, get up. You're so close, we can already imagine it. He says, take three. I swallow the sea. It tastes like stale lettuce heads and all I want is the honey coating our hands to be sweat. My bloated body to fairy desire and not film padding. The camera shutters and the lights switch off. I tumble. I fantasize. I slide past the credits and wipe the lens clean and transparent. Forgive the sea's blotting of the literal. That really is an amazing poem. Congratulations, Sarah. Now, here's WCAT's Riley O'Neill with this week's sports report. Thanks, Olivia. This past week, both Coach Tribble and Coach Eubanks were named among the top 100 coaches in the country by Max Preps. In their time here at Westminster, the two have combined for 50 state championships and have certainly left their mark on Wildcat athletes. Congratulations to both Coach Tribble and Coach Eubanks. Recently, WCAT has been working to re-air famous Westminster sports games over the last couple years. This past Monday, Ryan Costley, class of 2018, hosted players and coaches to revisit and break down the lacrosse state championship game against Lovett. Be sure to go check it out on WCAT's YouTube. Next week, WCAT also plans to re-air both boys and girls soccer state championships along with commentary and analysis, so stay tuned for that. One more event WCAT is lining up in the near future is Westminster Signing Day. Student athletes across every sport have recently made bid decisions on where to continue their athletic careers. Join us next Wednesday as we celebrate these student athletes on Westminster social media and a full program on WCAT. And lastly, in bid news, congratulations to both Tori Penn and Paul Wethington on being named Westminster Senior Athletes of the Year. They've certainly left their mark here at Westminster, and we're excited to see what they'll do at the collegiate level. Congratulations, guys. I'm Riley O'Neill, and that's all for sports this week. Back to you, Olivia. Go Cats. Thanks, Riley. From sports to academics, this year's valedictorians and salutatorians were announced through the Westminster Graham Monday. Congratulations, Lauren Kennedy and Anoop Batu, who are this year's valedictorians, and our salutatorians, Laura Sams and Albert Liang. Again, congrats to you all. That's all for this week. I'm Olivia Bontempo. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on WCAT News.